Let's go to Auburn. They still haven't had a winning season since 2019. Second year under Brian Harson, six and a half year as well. Emory over under. I'm going to go under, but a lot of it has to do with whether or not we see growth from TJ Finley uh, from the quarterback position. I think he has all of the tools. When you list him on paper, he's able to do whatever you want him to do, but you want to see it from a consistent level. And I, I know they have the run game, but you wonder about the losses on defense and can Finley make that jump? Can we see Big Ponchatula jump into the stratosphere? Hopefully he can because this is a team that has some pieces on paper, but collectively the consistency is where I have some questions. Yeah, consistency is the problem. I'm going to go under as well. I think the biggest thing is the trenches for me. You know, Derek Hall is really the only established defensive lineman they have. You have to roll eight deep. Auburn doesn't have that. They lost so many players to the transfer portal up front on defense. And then offensively, their offensive line's experience, but it's just not really that good. And, and I just don't think you can trust those guys after what we saw last year. So on top of that, the quarterback situation, not necessarily stable. And wide receiver has been a position of need this entire offseason they haven't really hit it all that hard through the transfer portal they need to they can't now because the deadline for uh, immediate eligibility is gone so that schedule's ult is just ultra tough as well so i'll take auburn probably going to be a six and six team but i think that they're much more likely to be that than a, a seven and five eight and four team do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment